Today we're going to be taking a look at one of our favorites here on the channel, a reanimator deck, but the colors are going to be Grixis. Now we've got some really interesting creatures here that we're going to be reanimating today. Uh, but the one card I want to talk about first and foremost is the new Planeswalker Jace. Jace is a card that typically uh, people are using to mill the opponent out for victory. But today we're going to actually be milling ourselves, uh, trying to fill up our graveyard with the creatures we need to reanimate later. So Jace is going to be minusing two and targeting ourselves. Not to say we can't mill the opponent out today. It's definitely very possible because of the creatures we chose. We've got things like Cityscape Leveler and Lord Xander. Uh, both cards have some fantastic attack triggers. Uh, Cityscape Leveler blows things up when it attacks but Lord Xander mills half of the opponent's deck when it attacks, which is why it's not very uh, hard to end up milling your opponent out with a Jace uh, in the late game. Uh, the reanimator cards of choice today are Cruelty of Gix and Wake to Slaughter. Cruelty of Gix, obvious choice, five mana, uh, you know, reanimator spell, but also hits the opponent's hand, gets us card advantage. Uh, but Wake to Slaughter is interesting because we can choose two creatures from our graveyard, both the Leveler and the Lord Xander. The opponent has to choose one of those creatures to come down with haste, um, allowing us to attack right away getting the benefits of the attack trigger uh, so it's not very beneficial to the opponent either way that they choose and then the other card goes to our hand which is great uh, which brings me to the last card i want to talk about bitter reunion um, a way to get a card into the graveyard that we need like a creature and then uh, later when we reanimate our creatures we can pay one mana to give them haste again giving these creatures haste is very important to get their uh, beneficial attack triggers right away uh, but the deck was absolute blast and actually a lot more competitive than i thought i think you guys are going to enjoy this one um, if you want a full deck breakdown, though, it'll be at the end of today's video, so stick around for that. In the meantime, in the links below, full deck list. And if you guys enjoy content just like this, if you want, uh, wouldn't mind giving the video a like, subscribe, all that stuff helps out an absolute ton, and I would greatly appreciate it. With that being said, though, enjoy the video. We'll see you back here at the end. Peace. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are playing some Grixis Reanimator, and uh, I'm really excited about this one because we're going to be using Jace in an unconventional way of mostly milling ourselves. Uh, there are going to be games, I'm sure, where we're going to be looking to mill the opponent out, uh, which is why it's such a fantastic flex card. But um, today, mostly looking to mill ourselves out to get our creatures in the graveyard. I've never seen this avatar before. That is really cool. unique sleeves as well man i like what they're doing here all right we can discard a card if we so choose um to draw two which i probably should i just don't know which card i want to drop here um esper colors it's hard to say man i guess we dropped this but i may end up regretting that the reunion off the top is not exactly the best possible thing to hit there just because my hand was looking so good i'd i would have been way happier if i had a uh, leveler in hand for that play, but all right, Esper, no counter spells. Fable does resolve. Looks like they're going to be a uh... oh, a consider. Okay, consider into another consider. Okay, so we don't know what they're on just yet, but it could be a Rafine deck of some sort, um, or it could be a Jin deck because they are filling up their graveyard. Just a couple of things we got to look out for. Uh, definitely thinking we got some counter magic on the way though. So let's send this away, draw a card. And Fading Hope. Runa's Vortex, might as well be a Fading Hope. All right, we've got an Instant Speed Maestro's Charm though. Can find us an untapped land here so we can go straight for the Cruelty of Gix which we might just go on level one so we can see what the heck's going on in their hand because I don't know. I don't know. Oh, a judge. A judge, huh? Yeah, I kind of regret throwing this away now because the judge is something we want to exile for sure. Waiting for the opponent to go here, though. They definitely have another Rona's Vortex or something like that, though. Can it hit their own creatures? Return to our creature Planeswalker you don't control. I didn't think it did. All right. So if it is a Rona's Vortex, which it wouldn't be holding priority, actually. I don't know. Uh, Top five cards. Let's go find something here. <clears throat> it's a solid answer. 
It's a very solid answer. Let's take it. This is just a defender for three turns, though, so we don't need to answer it right this second. I think right now our priority... Well, I actually don't have the ability to play... Gosh darn it. I have a tap land here, which doesn't help. So I guess the play would be then to get the Liliana down, huh? Maybe we go immediately to plusing Liliana, though. That could be something that could fluster him up a little bit here and work our way towards an alt. Because, again, we don't need to deal with this just yet. It's going to be a defender until it gets three counters placed onto it. They could do some pro uh, proliferating stuff. Which would be annoying, but I don't know. We all have things we'd rather forget. All right, and pass the turn. Still not a whole lot shown from the opponent here. Definitely looking more like a control shell, though. Maybe the other side of the judge is what they're trying to use as their win con. Uh, just getting it back into the field and ticking it up. Uh, because if you guys don't know this thing, uh, basically they can enchant me with the uh, Sinner's Judgment side of the card. And then when they do, it's going to make me uh, lose the game whenever they get uh, a certain amount of counters put onto it. Three, I believe. Looks like they've got a kill spell ready to go for Liliana, which is fine. I mean, that's a lot of mana being invested into that, which means they're untapped, or they are tapped out, I should say. So that opens the door for a really good Cruelty of Gix here. And again, I'm still sticking to level one. I'd really like to see what's going on in their hand, see if we need to be able to fear counter magic. We hit a Teferi, which is so good. <laughs> that worked out so nice. And we get to go get an answer for the judge next turn. This is going to go really well. Don't tell me they drew an answer. Anytime someone touches my card, like 90% of the time, it's because they have an answer for it. Okay, good. And now let's also keep in mind the fact that I can give the Cityscape Leveler haste and I can create a copy of it with Kiki Jiki. So um, on level three of this, it's going to get real ugly for the opponent. But for this turn, we just stick to... Stick to finding the soul. Soul transfer to get rid of that. It's just the best answer for the judge here. So we're going to... Oops. Did I do something wrong? Oh, can I not play this for some reason? Let me read this. <clears throat> as long as you're three more count. Yeah, no, that's fine. Why can't I play this? Oh, there it goes. I was so confused there. I'm like, why is it not allowing me to play this? I thought maybe I missed some sort of an effect on a card that I didn't see. Must have just been a little bit of a bug there on Arena's part. All right, going to play the Jace. Getting Jace down in game one feels good. It's kind of the main engine of the deck here, making those mills happen on our end. And looking to get some card draw. Our last soul transfer goes, but we did get a uh, Lord Xander in the yard. So that's pretty nice. So now we have options, but I still believe the best option here is to get the Cityscape leveler because it's got the most power that can be dealt across the board. And... I can copy it immediately and give it haste. But I guess it depends whether or not they play more permanents that I can blow up or not. Um, I don't know. Maybe milling them out is a very good viable plan with Lord Xander. Because if we bring that in, we give it haste. <laughs> um, but right now... Sorry, my kids just walked in. One second. Okay, <laughs> he came in and said, ah, and then he ran out. So forgot to lock the door, I guess. <laughs> okay, um, that was pretty funny. Um, yeah, we're going with the leveler here. I think we got to try to get him dead as fast as possible. I got a little distracted there. 
Hopefully the opponent doesn't have another Rona's Vortex. We just saw them throw one away, which could end up haunting them because bouncing my leveler back to my hand would be pretty bonkers. All right, here we go. Let's give haste. Um, I consider. All right, yeah, they are definitely going to be in a lot of trouble here. A lot of trouble. And just so we don't waste this, I guess, let's just do one of these. Doesn't really matter. All right. And we swing through for 16 big ones. And we kill both. Both, I should say. One of these with this uh, effect. And we get to draw some cards here, too, with the indulgence. So our graveyard being filled up is also creating some value in that department. So looking really spicy right now, guys. Really spicy. Um, they could blow up the Cityscape Leveler and save themselves from imminent death here with a removal spell. But even that, I don't really mind too much because I, if it's not an exile effect, I could just replay it from the graveyard if I hit one land drop. So anyways, the opponent didn't want to see any more. GG's, we love it. On to the next one. That was a really fun game. The opponent was definitely playing some unique stuff, which was pretty cool. Uh, not too sure exactly uh, what the game plan for sure was there. I think it was the sinful... Uh, judgment as their win con, but uh, we played around it pretty well, I think. All right, this is a very similar looking uh, sort of hand here, but I have red and black in built into this. I do need another black source for all of these, but I'm hoping the reunion can take care of that. And we draw the perfect card to drop out of our hand. There we go. All right, we didn't find another black source, but the blue still helps us with Jace coming down, so I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Jace, find us another black source, please, and thank you. Okay, I mean, it does get us there, but it's a bit slower than the route I wanted to take. Gix, huh? Yikes, yeah, we just didn't... Uh, didn't get what we needed there, but we shut down Gix so easily, which is amazing. Such an amazing little combo there, combo wombo. And let's give haste right away, actually. I want to get that treasure, because that treasure is our second black source. And I want to get that down ASAP, so next turn we can look to Cruelty of Gix. We give up the opportunity, though, to give our, you know, give our leveler a uh, some haste. But I think it's important, though, just to get the treasures where we can get them. And Shieldred's coming down, I would imagine, but I have a uh, Soul Transfer if we want to just eat it that way, or even Liliana. We have some really good answers. And answering the opponent's things isn't necessarily, you know, maybe even the most optimal thing here. It might just be to progress my game plan. Hard to say. Yeah, I think I am going to take out the, the Shieldred. It's just such a problematic card. It really makes things so difficult for me. All right. Yep, I know the drill. All right, take you down to zero. Ah, oh, shoot. I just realized the mistake in my ways there on that, uh, that play. Okay, it's fine. Um, I guess we'll take them both out either way because I'm going to get another treasure with Liliana. That was a bummer though. I completely misplayed that. That was not the move. The, the move here was soul transfer all day. Okay, they didn't actually take the bait on the block anyways, so I get to keep it. Let's bring Xander back. That's annoying though that I had to use all my treasures for that. But, I mean, look at the board that we've already developed here with the enchantments and planeswalkers and whatnot. I mean, an Invoke Despair definitely blows us up pretty bad, but I, I feel pretty good about where we stand, I, even with that horrible sequencing there. Because we could have just left Gix alone, left Gix on the field, and then just kept, um, you know, plussing Jace. So we didn't necessarily have to waste the Liliana's ability the way we did. All right, so five mana. I think we're gonna go with the Gix this turn. 
Well, actually, I got six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven actually. With yeah, I have I have Xander coming down this turn. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so first things first, we're not gonna plus Liliana because we want to make sure their hands as big as possible to get the biggest hit off of Lord Xander. In this case, with it being five cards being an odd number, it wouldn't have mattered. But something to keep in mind: Lord Xander gets a bigger discarding effect the more cards they have in hand. So we play that down. They discard two. And then they discard a third one with Liliana. So they're down to two cards in hand and our board is amazing. So we've got more cards in hand, more permanents on the field and the permanents we have are nutty. So opponents gonna be in a bit of a bind here. All right, you got one more to discard my friend. One more. Now, when Lord Xander attacks, we mill half their deck. And when it dies, they sacrifice half of the permanents that are uh, non-lands. Not that that really matters at this point, but... Could be relevant down the road. Interesting to see Dross come down. Yep. fine by me all good for me and we're gonna go ahead and mill half their deck there's another underdog but of course we kind of knew that was gonna happen and then let's go cruelty of gix here i'm gonna go level one see if i can disrupt their hand any further wow that is really <laughs> that is really dumb <laughs> okay well we lost both our xander and cruelty of gix here Invoke Despair for a second time. This just became an interesting game, guys. Wow. We went from so far ahead to just now being in a spot where it's like, well, things are getting a little sketchy. But I have seven mana right now, so if I could just get one more land um, off the top, Cityscape Leveler just wins us the game, which would be great. But uh, that Invoke Despair was so clutch for them to have a second one. They always have a second one. Let's just see. Let's see how many they, that we milled. There's one. They used one. So that's their third one. Still one more in there lingering too. Could even be this card. Who knows? Hopefully not. I don't know what's taking them so long to pull the trigger on it. It seems like the obvious choice. You blow up Xander. You blow up my enchantment. I can't get back Cityscape Leveler. Obviously they see that Leveler has haste and can win us the game. But at least you got to roll the dice on it. It's your best bet. I mean, you could just kill Xander with the go for the throat, I guess, but then you're in the same boat, so yeah. Invoke Despair at least gets him another card, too. <clears throat> and they have a land. And that's game. Unfortunate, my friend. GG's. That was close. That was too close for comfort, man. That was, uh, that could have gone way smoother. I think had I gone back and did that one play a little bit differently that I messed up, we'd be in a much better spot. Oh man, dude, this thing is so much fun. <clears throat> I don't know how reanimator is not everyone's favorite thing to do. It's so much fun, man. And this one having mill involved into it too is just chef's kiss. Uh, let's see. Opening hand is good. It's actually really good. We got the reunion to drop off the Lord Xander. Perfect. Mana looks perfect. Here we go. All right, we got Esper. I am done with drawing lands though. If we could stop doing that, that'd be great. More lands, cool. Glad you heard my pleas. All right, what do we got? Surge engine. Okay. Um, probably gonna be a lot of counter magic. Maybe I should look to do the soul transfer now, but I'm gonna go with fable instead I just I feel like fable something they're gonna want to interact with and spend mana on anyway So they should tap themselves down here this turn not to mention the surge engine wants to invest mana into itself as well So it's a three two it can't be blocked right now can't do any more mana into it, but hopefully another two drop comes down 
That way I can just know that I'm going to avoid being hit with counter magic on my soul transfer because I would like to get that engine off the field, obviously, but probably should have prioritized that a little heavier the more I think about it, but we'll see. Nope, they exile that, which is great. Opens the door. The door has officially been opened. All right, we're going to definitely drop. I mean, I might as well just hold on to this because I don't need this much land. This is way too much land. All right, let's get rid of you. <clears throat> and say go. We have hostile takeover, which might not be too relevant in this build or this game. Um, Esper with maybe just some tempo. I don't think it's going to necessarily require sweepers. But if we if we need it, it's there. I mean, even to pick off one creature might be important. We'll see. I'm a little afraid to see if I go with the Jace plan to mill them. I wonder if they have graveyard effects and I don't want to I don't want to feel their fire potentially. So, I think we're going to just stick to milling myself out and drawing some cards. We've already got stuff in the graveyard that I like though, which is what kind of makes me worried about milling myself after you've already got your creatures in the yard. You might actually hit something relevant. But that's the danger of self milling yourself. All right. This is definitely going to be my play this turn. And so as far as mana goes, we might as well play the tap source because even one mana. Uh, being open isn't enough to stop things like make this appear from happening anyway, so full send See if Jace resolves probably not Really hope it does The card draw could be super relevant here Disruption protocol, so they're running artifacts. That's pretty good information artifacts surges artifact so we're going to see some bank busters, some other sort of things going on. Um, all right, let's just attack. Use up our indulgence. Wandering Emperor. Yep. Should have seen that coming. I kind of did see it coming, but still felt like we should probably just attack anyways. All right. You are not much of a roadblock. That's not good. <laughs> this uh, the shuffler is on some business right now. Oh man, come on, shuffler. At least I can cycle these away, I guess. But that's not how you want to be spending three mana. I have got new needs to teach you. On real. Okay, let's do it again. All right, fun game. <laughs> fun game. <clears throat> the good news is I can play the Cityscape Leveler, blow up the Urza, and run straight through the Wandering Emperor, and that'll be a pretty good play for us. The bad news is... They got to untap this turn, and God knows if this is going to actually work or resolve. This fight. All right, taking four. Are we going to see the Might Stone Weak Stone? We are not. Okay. <laughs> all right. We all know why I'm laughing. All right, Cityscape Leveler. Oh, it resolves. Uh oh, someone's in trouble. Someone's in trouble. There we go. Did its job. It did its job. But now our deck has to do its, its job and uh, get us a card that can do anything aside from be, uh, being a land. A card that can do anything besides providing mana. We're all set on that. 36 cards left in a deck. I mean, so many great tools. So many great tools. We don't want to see another hostile takeover. That's about it. No land, no hostile takeover. I'll be happy. All 
All right, so we see artifact stuff. We see planeswalkers like Liliana, or not, not Liliana, uh, Wandering Emperor, and uh, Urza. So we know they have the Mightstone Weakstone to draw some cards off of that. That should be dropping down pretty soon, I would imagine. This could be some sort of like uh, gauntlet deck. The new gauntlet that gives proliferate. Um, wait, could it be? Because that would make sense maybe with the... Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here. No, that wouldn't work. Thought maybe that would work proliferating the uh, surge, but it doesn't use counters. All right, so this says... Enters battlefield, uh, cast it. Exile target instant sorcery card, mana value less than equal to the power. Copy that, cast it. That was fine. That was fine. Um, actually, that helped us out a little bit now that I think about it. Helped us out quite a bit. Because we get to replay it now, and they didn't know how bad my hand was. Had they known how bad the hand was, they definitely wouldn't have done that. Nice. Nice. I think we're going to win this, guys. It's a little early to say, but it feels like we might just win this. Depends on what's in their hand here. I'm going to Cruelty of Gix. Well, should we Cruelty of Gix or should we just go straight? I mean, we're definitely Cruelty of Gixing. Should I go straight into Xander, though, or go into their hand? I feel like going into their hand, we might hit something here. We've seen some artifacts. We've seen some Planeswalkers. It's definitely possible to hit something here. Looks like maybe a counter spell here. They're tapping the power stone to counter my thing. Protocol. Yeah. Fair enough. Let's make you discard a card. How about that? How you like them apples? Cruelty of Gix being dropped though is a big hit because that that was that was a continuous value um, machine for us. It was going to create us a couple of different uh, opportunities, but now let me just lose it. They must have just drawn that because why would they let Liliana resolve? All right, and they get what? Nothing good. Nothing they can get here. That's very good, huh? Uh, protocol. Yep. Exile. Lord Xander. Wow, wow, wow. All right, we discard a hostile. Lord Xander, come on in and do your work. Because this is how I do. This is the way I live. All right, nice. Got him. Got him. How many cards? Well, let's see. Let's take a look now. Let's take a gander. Farewell. Ooh, that'd be bad. So this is definitely a Planeswalker. Yeah, Planeswalker build with just some splash of artifact sort of trickery. Don't mind it at all. Liliana's dead. That's fine. We're just going to keep attacking away with the Lord Xander. So by all means, have the Liliana. I did consider that as a fact of losing Liliana last turn. I probably maybe should have played Takeover, but... Anything else? Watch it be like silver scrutiny and draw a brand new hand. That would make me so sad. All right. That's not a top deck you want to see there. <clears throat> Let's mill out 10 cards here. What do you say? Uh, okay. Oh, they're going to bounce that back to their hand. Ooh, because they want to replay an instant or sorcery with power. Okay. I mean, it's going to have to end the turn anyways, but let's see what sort of instant sorcery spells they could pull off here. Nothing great. Uh, depopulate maybe actually, uh, but then I draw a card. So I don't care about that. There's no other exiling effects in here. Oh, there is a partition. I didn't see that. But then again, if they play that, I could just replay the Xander, I guess. So that's fine. But it would be a bit of a bummer because I'd have to 
replay it and then I can't make him discard anything with only one card in hand. So I'd have to wait a whole nother turn. Yeah, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. But I would imagine with only 10 cards left in their deck here, I would imagine we could survive uh, you know, long enough to mill them out. They go with the depopulate though. Nice. I'll draw a card. No, oh, it's a land. Come on, man. We're better than that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You're joshing me, man. Just give me a Jace and be done with it. All right. That's one card out of their hand. Just kidding. They got a counter spell. Oh, nope. There we go. One card out of their hand. We love that. Who knew I was going to top deck another Jace? Hey, man, I feel bad. I I'm I feel your pain because that is our third Xander, but it's not my fault, man. The shuffler, you know how it goes. You know how it goes. I mean, I got 30 lands in a row, so I guess three Xanders in a row isn't that shocking. Man, I'm so hungry. Super Bowls today, and I'm so excited to go eat some food. Ooh, that's annoying, but it's fine. I have Hostile Takeover to blow up the 2-2. Do I even need to blow up the 2-2, though? I mean, I, I probably should, so I can kill the Teferi. Yeah, I probably should. Let's go! Good game. Holy, about time. About time. Nice little clean mill action here. Okay, that was uncalled for. Surrender your mind to that was uncalled for, my friend. Oh, what a game. That was a very long, drawn-out game. It took forever to find the Jace. Thank goodness he finally showed up to the party, man. Cruising. All right, one last game before we call it. Very, very fun games this... uh Today. Today's been fun in general. I've had a lot of really cool, fun little decks that we put together. Actually climbing platinum right now, too. Oh, about to be at diamond soon. All right. What do we got? Opponent gets to go first. I do like my hand. It's a bit slow, though. I'm not going to lie. Could be, uh, could be asking for it here if our opponent's on some aggro. But this gets me treasures. Hopefully getting this a turn early. So we'll see how this pans out. Not great. All right. All right, Rot Priest, and it's a blue source coming down. Do we have... Do we have the Ivy? No, okay, thank God. Thank God for that. I am afraid to target this, though, with anything, because I feel like it's just going to protect itself, so things like Soul Transfer are just going to be whiffing but i could soul transfer well actually i can't soul transfer instant speed i can do the maestro's charm at instant speed trying to kill this maybe get them to use a resource gets us a step closer to hitting them with the soul transfer so i think that's what we'll do we'll pass the turn we'll let them on tap and then um we'll try to hit them with the maestro's charm here hopefully they get a land down good less cards in hand is better for us okay before this comes down and they get double the effects let's do this now Force them not to be able to get all that doubling to Ivy crud. <clears throat> okay. They have one card left in hand, but they get to get rid of it if it's no good here by this attack. Let's see. Last card in hand. Is it a one mana blue spell? It all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen. It all comes down to this. You should take that, Ivy. You should take that. Yes! Okay. It's just an Ivy now. Just a little old Ivy. Just kidding. It's a Rot Priest too. And a Contaminator. This is good, though. This is good. We have a Sweeper. We have a very good Sweeper. See ya! Dang, we go to nine, though. It's wild. That was pretty close. Hello? Oh, 
Oh, they didn't take the IV trigger on that to put me to nine. Seems kind of strange. Um, what do I do here? I think I'm just going to go here. And I'll melt myself. You never know. They might have some graveyard stuff we don't want to see. Nice. Okay, if we get a... Uh, if we can get... Uh, there we go. Lord Xander. That's what I was going to say. If we can get a Lord Xander in the graveyard, we're going to be looking good. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Lord Xander. Cityscape leveler. Wake to slaughter. Let them choose which one we resolve here and which one goes back to my hand. Either way, it's money in the bank. And not to mention, they both are going to have haste. I would I would put the Cityscape leveler on the field if I were them. But nope, they give me a Xander. That was a big mistake in my opinion. It's going to have haste. There goes half your deck. And now I've, I'm in the process of potentially milling the opponent completely out this next turn. We have two Cityscape levelers. So let's just drop one here. All right. The opponent down to 22 cards. 22 cards. And they scoop it up. Let's go, dude. Anytime you can be Ivy and Rot Priest, it's a good day. Let's get it. GG's, man. Let's break this thing down. That will conclude today's gameplay portion of the video. We are going to talk about the deck a little bit further in detail. Before I do that, though, I want to give a huge shout out to everybody who's made it this far into the video. It helps an absolute ton uh, with the YouTube algorithm when you stick around this long. So thanks for doing that. I do appreciate that support. And uh, with that being said, let's take a look at today's build, man. Um, again, reanimator deck focused in on the cityscape leveler and Lord Xander, two amazing creatures to reanimate because again, their attack triggers are phenomenal, which typically isn't a great thing when you're talking about reanimation decks because you reanimate the creature and then it doesn't, uh, it's not able to attack right away. But we've got so many different ways to give these things haste and uh, take advantage of those attack triggers immediately. Um, we got things like bitter reunion a card that's uh you know we discard a card draw some cards which is already great get something important out of our hand gets us other tools in our hand to reanimate later and then what's great about this is the one mana ability to give haste to all of your creatures so lord xander city leveler come down and then we get those advantages of the haste and all their attack triggers which is great but also i found this wake to slaughter card now this has been around for a while i've had my eye on it but i've never had an opportunity to really feel like it had a home anywhere today it made a lot of sense in this deck because we only have two creatures we're trying to reanimate right both have great attack triggers and so wake to slaughter made a ton of sense because a if it gets milled we can reanimate uh, use it from uh, flashback position but b it gives everything haste that comes into the field so uh, whatever creature they choose for us to place onto the field they're not going to have a fun time when we end up milling half their deck or blowing something up that's very important um, and then we have cruelty of gix as a more solid foundational uh, reanimation spell because um, it's just a very good five mana reanimator tool if we need it but also it comes with extra additional features attached to it like hitting your opponent's hand for something maybe stealing uh something to reanimate from them or we can go ahead and search our library for a specific card we may need like if we have the cruelty of gix we can go searching for like a bit of reunion to get something into the graveyard so the follow-up turn we can reanimate something um and then jace man jace was a really fun card here is kind of the build around where i started this deck because i wanted jace in a build where we, we were reanimating stuff because i didn't want to use jace in the normal sense of uh, milling out the opponent uh, today i wanted to use it to mill myself fill up the graveyard because three cards at a time is a pretty good amount of cards to be milling myself also drawing cards which is helpful so i thought this would be a really nice fit in a reanimator deck and then from there we built a really nice grixis kind of control shell just to kind of get us to the you know the point of reanimating our creatures so started off with tainted indulgence as a draw but this card effect as well this is a really good in the late game because it can draw us cards straight up for two mana uh, which is really high value and then maestro's charm we splashed a couple of these because it works great with reanimator gives me a card fills up the graveyard if we need to also though works as removal or keeps us alive with some life gain and then Fable the Mirror Breaker was a no-brainer. 
probably the best card in standard um also works phenomenal with reanimator because the draw and discard effect treasures help us ramp a turn early into our reanimation spells and then soul transfer because soul transfer works great with uh you know a lot of the stuff we're doing here we got plenty of enchantments artifacts come off of the fable with the uh treasure tokens cityscape levelers and artifacts so there's a lot of times that soul transfer is going to be hitting both sides of the coin where we can exile something and bring something back um into uh the fold like a you know a liliana or a jace speaking of liliana another great removal tool but also can uh, force the opponent and ourselves to discard which could be very helpful because if we get these out of our hand then uh, it's net positive so Liliana's a great addition as well and then we also have three hostile takeovers honestly one of my favorite sweepers of all time this thing hits pretty much everything because of the ability to give a creature uh, the power and toughness of 1-1 one, one. so that should take care of whatever big threat they may have and then the three damage should clean up the rest of the board this card is very very good sweeper um, Grixis you know, not a lot of people running this card. Um, they choose, you know, Gix Command over it, which I can understand why in a lot of spots. But today, I think this card's uh, plenty good enough for this build. So I really enjoyed that one. And uh, I hope you guys did as well. But that does conclude the deck breakdown. I hope you guys, you know, uh, watched this, learn, you know, got some ideas from this and uh, can build upon this. But I really like the deck a lot. I hope you do as well. And uh, before we get out of here, huge shout out goes to the mardu mob if you guys don't know what the mardu mob is it's the membership program here on the channel right down below there's a join button next to the subscribe button and uh these people are paid members of the channel who are part of the mardu mob so i want to make sure i give them a huge special thank you and shout out at the end of every video for being part of that because it helps support my channel and i cannot thank them enough for that so thank you all so very much for being a part of that and helping me grow and uh with that being said, it concludes today's video. We'll be back again here tomorrow for another one. And uh, yeah, that'll do it, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Until next time, peace out. Man, all of the time Coming with the best sex to the meta This ain't cheap